making dinner for my husband. You guys have been asking me for the longest time for queso birria tacos, and here you go. I'm gonna begin by skimming all the grease that's floating on top of the birria because this is the oil we're gonna use to fry up our tacos. Then I'm gonna separate my meat and my broth and start to cut up my meat for my tacos. Here I have my meat ready and cut up for my tacos. This is the grease we're gonna use to fry up the tortilla, and this is the consomme. Now we're just gonna dip our tortillas in our hot grease, give them a little flip and add your cheese of choice. I'm going to use the Mexican blend. Wait for your cheese to melt a little bit before you add your meat and don't be stingy guys, hook them up. Now we're gonna close them up and give them a little flip so they can get crispy on both sides. And this is what they look like when they're ready. Yes, queen! Now we're just gonna top them off with a little bit of cebolla and cilantro, some chili oil or our turtle sauce, our consomme for dipping, and don't forget to hook up that consomme also. A little lemon wedge, and there you have it, guys. This is my quesabirria tacos. I hope you guys try out this recipe and let me know how it comes out, guys. Bye! Making dinner for my husband. Today I'm making him a spicy Indian tandoori burger. I begin by grinding some chuck with a little bit of mustard and then I'm going to saute some onions and some jalapenos because I'm throwing that inside the meat. Now I'm just going to form my patties and slap it on a hot skillet, but you can use your grill if you want to. Mine's dirty and I'm too lazy to clean it up. Now we're going to season it with some Indian tandoori sea salt that I got on Amazon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Season on both sides and add your cheese of choice. Now here's where the spicy comes. We're going to make a spicy mayo that's going to go for our burgers using all these ingredients I'm listing on the screen. Don't forget to butter up your buns. Add your spicy mayo and all the toppings you want. Top it with your top bun and there you have it guys. Now I'm just going to add some Indian tandoori with truffle oil fries and that's dinner for us guys. Hope you guys like my recipe. Bye! Making dinner for my husband. Today I'm going to make my husband some empanadas de birria with consomme. I know what you're going to say. Birria again and yes. We have a lot of birria left over and we're gonna use every last bit of it. So what better way than to make some empanadas? We're gonna begin by making our masa using all the ingredients I'm going to list on the screen and then we're gonna make little balls and pretend you're making a tortilla. Stuff it with your birria, add cheese of choice, we're using the Mexican blend and then I'm gonna give it a little fold and with my pinky, I'm going to start to crimp the edges to make sure my empanada is nice and sealed. I'm gonna do it again, add your birria, add your cheese, Fold it and crimp the edges with your pinky to make sure your empanada is nice and sealed. Now we're going to take it to the fryer and fry until it's nice, golden, crispy, it drain, and this is what it looks like from the inside. Now just add a little bit of sour cream, some queso cotija, a little bit of cebolla and cilantro, your consomme for dipping, and don't forget to hook that consomme up too. Add a little bit of lemon, some chili oil, and there you have it guys. Bye! Let me show you guys how to make the best birria. Consider this a love smell recipe. For my meats, I'm using chuck roast and beef shank. You need the bone for flavor, guys. For your peppers, you need guajillo, pasilla, and puya, and then all these spices. You also need tomato, onion, salt, and vinegar. We're gonna put everything in a pot, add some water, and let that simmer for about 30 minutes. We need all the flavor, guys. After 30 minutes, you're gonna let it cool. Don't be impatient like me. And use everything, even the juice. Because remember, that's where the flavor's at. Now we're gonna blend and strain everything. Now I'm going to add my sauce to my meat and two blender cups full of water. Now you're gonna mix everything and make sure everything is fully incorporated. Let that come to a boil, cover and simmer for about three hours. I never trim the fat off my meat because I skim it and I use it for my quesadilla tacos. There's no special oil, guys, trust me. Or you can just serve it like this with a little bit of rice, add your cebolla and cilantro, a little bit of chili oil, old turtle sauce, some lime, and there you have it, guys. Hope you guys like my recipe. Bye! Let me show you guys how I made my chile en aceite, or your chili oil, your salsa matcha, your turtle sauce, whatever you know it as. We're going to begin by frying a cup of chile de arbol with a cup of oil. You can use whatever oil you want, and three garlic cloves. Don't burn your chili peppers. Just let them get nice and toasted. If you burn them, your salsa will get bitter. And don't forget to open up all your windows, guys. Let it cool off before you take it to the blender and add either a tablespoon of salt or a tablespoon of consomme de pollo or chicken bouillon, whatever you know it as. Blend it and it's ready. Now we're just going to pour it in our container and there you have it, guys. And warning, it is spicy. Hope you guys like this recipe. Bye! Let me show you guys how I made my white buttery rice with veggies. And let me warn you guys, it has butter. In a pot, I'm going to add about four tablespoons of butter, a minced scarlet clove, and a cup of white rice. Mix everything together, and then we're gonna add two cups of liquid. In this case, I'm using water. But you can use two cups of chicken broth, one and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon, some frozen veggies, give it a little stir, and then let it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to cover and simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. Fluff it with the fork, and there you have it, guys. 
making dinner for myself today i'm making some delicious beer batter crispy fish tacos i'm gonna begin by making some type of coleslaw i don't know what to call this guys but you need this for your tacos now we're also gonna make a spicy mayo for our tacos but you can also use sour cream instead of mayo i'm gonna add the spicy mayo to a squeeze bottle using my homemade funnel that you can also find on my website guys just kidding now for the batter we're going to use all these ingredients i'm going to list on the screen and a delicious cold as beer or basically anything with bubbles now for my fish of choice i'm going to use some tilapia i'm going to dip it in my batter and throw it into my hot oil let it get nice golden crispy like this now let's warm up our tortillas and assemble our tacos add your fish your delicious coleslaw some of that spicy mayo and a lemon on the side you guys really need to try these tacos hope you like my recipe bye Making dinner for my husband. Today I'm gonna attempt to replicate In N Out's double double animal style burger without the hour wait. Okay, In N Out, I see you with your delicious looking burger. Let's do this. I'm gonna begin by making their secret spread using all the ingredients I'm going to list on the screen. Then I'm going to go for my patties and cut my onions so I can go caramelize on my flat top. Slap those patties on my hot flat top, season and add some mustard. Yes, you heard correctly, mustard. After five minutes, flip, season again and add your cheese of choice. Don't forget to butter up your buns and let's go assemble our burger. Spread some of that deliciousness sauce on your bottom bun. Add your pickles, tomato, lettuce, onion, a delicious patty, some grilled onions and another patty just top with your top bun and there you have it guys that is my burger and that's in and outs burger let's take a look at both of these beauties yes queen hope you guys like this recipe bye making dinner for my husband today i'm surprising my husband with a homemade pizza when he gets home from work but not just any pizza we're making a birria pizza with consomme. Now for the crust, I did do a little bit of cheating and I bought mine at Winco. I'm just gonna stretch out the dough into my pizza pan with a little bit of olive oil. I'm also folding some cheese string into my crust for a cheesy stuffed crust. Now for my sauce, I'm gonna use refried beans. I'm just gonna spread it all over my pizza. Then I'm gonna add a handful of Mexican blend cheese. I'm also gonna sprinkle a little bit of rice and then I'm adding the birria. Make sure you cover everything. Now just for kicks, I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese on top and stick it into my oven at 450 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes and there she is guys look how beautiful once out of the oven just sprinkle some cebolla and cilantro and there you have it guys a birria pizza just cut it up serve and dip into your consomme i'm telling you you guys really need to try this recipe hope you guys like it bye making dinner for my husband today is raining guys and the hubby wanted some pozole so i made a chicken and pork pozole and yes you can mix it in a big pot i'm gonna bring some water to boil once your water comes to a boil i'm going to start to add my pork i'm going to add bone for flavor i'm gonna let that cook for 30 minutes meanwhile i'm gonna rehydrate nine wajillos but in the same big ass pot because i was too lazy to dirty another one i'm going to blend it and strain the chile back into the pot I'm gonna add a big can of hominy. I'm using this kind because it was on sale. When I added my hominy to the pot, I realized that I missed some chiles, but it's okay. We're gonna leave them in there for flavor. I'm going to cover it and let it cook for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to add my chicken and a big handful of oregano. I'm gonna cover it up and let it cook for another 30 minutes or until my chicken is fully cooked. And that's it, guys. Our pozole is ready. Now we're going to serve with our favorite topping. I'm adding some repollo, cebolla and cilantro, a little bit of lemon juice, and some chili oil. And if you want your smelly one to burn, just add a little bit of habanero. That's it. I hope you like this recipe. Bye. Making dinner for myself. Today, I'm having tacos with a side of tequila shots. First off, guys, I am the queen of having parties of one here at my house, which means I drink by myself because my husband doesn't like getting hangovers. Luckily for him, Upside sent me some other product, which is a supplement you take before you start drinking, and it keeps you from getting a hangover. So today, we're going to pop some of these and have a party of two instead of party of one. Husband! So this is what it looks like, guys. Cheers. Cheers. So I'm just gonna add more salsita to my tacos because I like spicy. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna be filming myself throughout the day to see how good that product works. Chile on your chile. Bye! Today I'm gonna show you guys a remedy that my mom swears by. So my baby has been super sick lately with the stomach flu and hasn't taken any fluids or any food at all. So my mom tells me in order to get my son's nutrients back in his body, I need to make him a chicken soup using chicken feet. Yes, guys, 
chicken feet at first i was like this lady is crazy and she thinks i'm gonna get my baby chicken feet but that's not all she also tells me i need to add some chicken livers into this soup but honestly guys i am so desperate that i was like chicken feet with liver soup it is I'm just gonna add a little bit of onion, garlic, tomato, some chicken bouillon, water, and then let it simmer for 45 minutes. After the 45 minutes, I'm gonna add a half a cup of rice and then my veggies of choice. I'm using carrots and zucchinis. Cover it up and let the rice cook for another 15 minutes until the rice gets nice and puffy like this. Now I'm just gonna serve this with this favorite bowl with a straw, add a little bit of lemon juice, and hope it works, guys. Wish us luck. Bye! Making dinner for my husband. Today I'm going to make my husband some flautitas dogadas. I'm going to warm up my tortillas in the microwave and as soon as they come out, I'm going to separate them so they don't stick together. Now our tortillas should be nice and pliable so we can start rolling up our taquitos. Add your feeling of choice, I'm going to use beef and cheese and stack them up. Now let's make our consomme. The consomme is the broth we use to dip our taquitos in. We're just going to boil a couple of tomatillos and a jalapeno and all these ingredients I'm going to list on the screen. Add oil to a pot and fry that consomme. As soon as it comes to a boil, it's ready. Now we're gonna finish frying our flautas. I make sure my oil is not super hot and I fry them seam side down so they don't come apart. You're not deep frying these, so make sure there's not too much oil also. Flip them so they can get crisp on both sides and be careful guys because they will burn like mine. Drain excess oil and now we get to plate. Stack up your flautitas, add a couple of layers of consomme and add your favorite toppings. And there you have it guys. Hope you guys enjoy my recipe. Bye!